guys in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to run JavaScript in VS Code on the Mac OS X. If you want to run JavaScript locally on your computer you must install Node.js on your system. Node.js is what allows us to run JavaScript locally on our computer from terminal without having to run that code in a browser. This has many advantages including running your own JavaScript server or simply testing your JavaScript code without having to open it in a browser. So go ahead and open terminal on your OS X and I'm going to check which version of Node I already have installed by typing node dash dash version. I already have 16.16 .16 installed. If you're trying to figure out how to run JavaScript on your Mac OS X you probably don't even have it so head over to Google and type download Node.js. Go ahead and find the official Node.js website and click on the Mac OS installer. Once the file is downloaded, click on this arrow up and click on show in folder. Go ahead and double click on the file that was downloaded and this will trigger the Node.js installation. Just go through it by clicking on the install button, continue. You might have to enter your admin password. Once it's done, we're going to have Node and NPM, which is Node Package Manager, installed. Go ahead and click on the Close button. And at this point, it's pretty safe to move this installer to trash. Now, assuming that, unlike me, you didn't have Node installed prior to this tutorial, go ahead and type Node dash dash version in your terminal again. If you don't see any errors and you see the Node version, that means Node.js has been successfully installed on your system. Now I'm going to go ahead and open my Visual Studio Code editor and I'm going to head over to open folder. I'm going to create a new folder for this project on my desktop under projects and I'm going to call this folder JS. So I'm going to click on the open button. This will start our JavaScript project environment. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on this button to create a new file. I'm going to call this file vscode.js. Hit enter, open the file, and we're going to type some JavaScript code here that we're going to execute in a terminal. At this point, it's just a simple JavaScript program that outputs some text and some calculations. I'm going to go to terminal menu and start a new terminal. It works exactly just like your regular Mac OS X terminal. So here I just check my node version again. To actually execute the JavaScript file, you're going to type node followed by the file name .js. So I'm going to hit enter and this JavaScript program will execute. If you want to execute and run your JavaScript as part of your web app, you need to install Live Server. So I'm going to go into extensions and type live server. Go ahead and click on the first result. I already have it installed, so but you will have an install button. Go ahead and click on that. After installing live server, you'll see in the lower right corner of your VS Code editor, there's a new option saying go live. So let's go ahead and click on that button to launch this JavaScript file. Now the live server can execute this JavaScript file and open it in the browser automatically. But generally you want to create an HTML file. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and start a new file. Call it index.html. Type in some basic HTML. JavaScript goes between the script brackets. Now go ahead and launch live server again. As you can see, our basic JavaScript file is running in localhost. With Live Server, you can also set up Live Reload, so which means whenever you change your file here, it will automatically reload on the right-hand side in the browser without you having to refresh it. I have some basic HTML here, but in order to make Live Refresh actually work, you have to use the header and body tags. So I'm going to go ahead and add the head tags here with the script and the body tag below. So this will actually enable the live refresh to work in live server. Without those tags, it's just not going to work. 
So here I'm going to save my JavaScript file before running it. And as you can see, it automatically changes whenever I save the file in VS Code. Okay guys, so pretty much this is the basics of writing JavaScript and JavaScript files on Mac OS X in Visual Studio Code running JavaScript locally in terminal as well as from the address bar in localhost home address in your browser.